Hey guys, all right, today was the first day of school, my first time teaching third grade, and I'm so happy. <laughs> I loved it. It was just amazing. I feel like it went so smooth, and it was just, I felt like these are my people, you know? My class is just amazing. They're the biggest sweethearts. They just, you can tell they are excited to learn. I feel like we just got along like, so great. And there was just a different level of respect there. And I, I don't know, like I didn't have to raise my voice at all. I could just give them like the stern look and then they knew what was up and I'm so happy. I don't know, like, this just might be like the shortest video ever, but I, I'm so happy. Like, first day of school was just amazing. Like, the last two years that I've taught first grade, it was like, well, like I told you, my first day of teaching first grade, I bawled my eyes out. I felt like I was gonna have like a panic attack all day. And then the second year, first day, you know, I was still a little nervous, was still, was still pretty overwhelmed, caught myself having to like raise my voice a lot and just, really working on gaining control of the room. And I don't know, today, today just wasn't like that, you know? We would go over the rules, I would remind them of the rules, I'd call them out when they weren't following it, but it wasn't like, like everyone stop, put your head down, like we need to calm down, it wasn't, I don't know, like these kids, they, they work well together, they weren't feeding off of each other's wild energy, and yeah, you know, I have a couple kids that are talkers and I will need to move tomorrow, but I just feel like, I'm in my classroom with my people and ah, I'm so excited. I mean, you can tell me to look back at this video if like two months later I'm like, my class, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just so stinking happy. Um, okay, so let me walk you through what we did today. Here is our schedule. Okay, so when they first came in, I had this little sheet on their desk, and it was my first day in third grade. So they got to color and write about something that they want to learn this year. Then after that, we came over here. This is why my table's pushed all the way over. This is where we had our morning meeting. It was like the only place in the room that we could like possibly make that work. Um, I thought about having them sit on their desks for a morning meeting, because it does make kind of a circle besides like the zipper parts that go in. Um, if this becomes a hassle, I'll give that a try, so we'll see. After our morning meeting, we went into our morning work. I did those in reverse today because it was first day of school, and I feel like kind of rude if we jump into like all this work without even having a chance to really meet each other and create that community going on. So just colored that little sheet, talked about things we're gonna be learning in third grade, and then brought them to our morning meeting where we got to introduce each other. I went over my procedure of, you know, we're having circle time, you get one warning and then you're out and you're invisible to us, yada yada. And I didn't have any problems. I had to give like two people a warning and that was it. We talked a lot about feelings and how we can show each other our feelings and maybe we can have to take a mental note of who's having a good day or bad day, things we can do to help. And then also just whatever we say in the circle stays in the circle and giving examples of why that's so important. Um, they made a promise to each other about it and we said good morning to each other and we just talked about how we were feeling overall about the day and it was just, it was awesome. From there, we went into our morning work and that was really, um, that was the first time they really had to have a lot of focus, but I feel like it went really well. Okay, so we went over Monday's column. So it just kind of briefly goes over what we're doing. I did that with them and kind of explained academic language that they might not have heard all summer. And then this was the math one, so we really got to go over that as well. And then they have these in the back of their binder. And I feel like that was super good because when I first showed them what we're doing, their eyes were like, what? Like I have to do all this? And once I explained how we're breaking it down to sections, and once I told them I was gonna do it with them this first week, you could just see like, like, okay, thank God. And not because they just wanted to copy my work, but just because they were genuinely overwhelmed. So I, so I really felt like it showed them, I got you, we're just getting this brain thing working. Don't worry, we'll do this together. You have my support. So once we did our morning work, we went on to, what did we do? Okay, so once we did our morning work, we went on to phonics after, no, we didn't. Okay, 
So once we finished our morning work, then I went on to this My Teacher page, which is my teacher, asked for my name, words to describe me, and I love how she, da da da. And then my favorites, subject, books I've read, things to do at recess, and food. And I told them like, hey, like you might not be able to write that much about me because you just met me like two hours ago. And they were like, oh yeah, like that's true. So they got to give me some words that describe me, but then I also got to share with them some words that describe me. And at the end of the day, they said like, oh, I feel like I got to know you a lot better. I feel like I can go back and fill out that page. And I'm like, you got it kid, like that's exactly what we're doing. And I, re and I really enjoyed getting to know you a lot better. And so thank you for sharing your favorite subject and foods and all that stuff with me. And just, I feel like I'm really getting to make stronger relationships with these kids. And and that's just like my thing, that means like the most to me. After that we went to phonics. For phonics we went over a lot of prefix and suffix. Really reviewing root words and how we can make new words using prefixes and suffixes. They thought that was pretty cool. We had fun making up new words and learning how certain prefixes and suffixes don't mix with just every word. Then we had recess and came back in. Because we were going a lot over rules and good manners, we read Deputy Dorkface, How Mannerland Got Their Manners Back. And then we really dissected the book. And we went over character, setting, plot, and then really dove into the theme of the book. And this part was super cool because the kids were able to pick apart little pieces of the theme and then we worked and then we wrote those keywords down and brought together into a couple sentences to really describe the theme of the book. And it was just so cool seeing how they can break it apart, what they all, what each person got from it. And that's just what makes me so happy. Really being able to analyze this and talk about the deeper meaning to things. And uh, it was just, it was such a good day. <laughs> But then we discussed how it'd be different in class. Like, what if we didn't have any rules? Like, how would we react? And yeah, it's cool when you don't have to follow the rule, but when no one else has to follow the rule either, like, it gets chaotic, and then they didn't know what chaotic meant, so it was explaining chaotic and chaos and all of that. Um, but yeah, it was just fun. Then I passed another one of those third grade book paper things out to re-go over the rules and reward systems and consequences. Sorry, tech guys came in to ask about the cooling system because apparently everyone else's room has been going crazy, but mine was perfectly fine. It's just a good year, guys. <laughs> Normally my room is freezing cold or burning hot, so I'm chilling, literally. <laughs> um, all right, so for math, we just did basic addition and subtraction, went over hundreds chart, that way I can see kind of just a basic, who knows what, what we're working with here. And yep, then leftover time, they got to just work on finishing these worksheets. I'm gonna pass out some more tomorrow. So we as a class agreed that instead of rushing to take this home today, we're going to hold off and make sure that it is all nice and neat to bring home tomorrow. So we will finish those off tomorrow and dive into some new stuff. But I'm super excited. Can't wait to tell you about the rest of the week. And, and yeah. So I think this is gonna be the earliest that I've left school. It's 325. I'm gonna head out and celebrate what an awesome day I had. So if you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye.